How's it going everyone? Today I wanted to install something on my 2003-93 that I've thought about putting on a couple times uh, in the past year or so and I'll explain that here in a minute because back when I got this car painted a little bit over a year ago you might remember I replaced the bumper and the hood. The hood had a dent in it and the front bumper had a bunch of broken clips so I got a good bumper and a good hood from the junkyard that were different colors. And when I got the hood it had this bug deflector or whatever you want to call this on it that I had never seen before and it just kind of came with the hood so I figured instead of removing it I just kept it on there. I honestly didn't really like the look of it so I took it off before I had the car painted and then never put it back on but by the time you guys are seeing this video I'm actually going to be taking this car on a road trip about 300-350 miles to San Diego, California. So I figure I want to test this out and see if this is any good. So today we're going to be installing it. And I figure just because I want to film a vlog of sorts of the entire road trip out there, I'll put that in a separate video. So today we're just going to be installing it. And I really want to get your guys' opinion on it. If you think it looks good or if you have one, if you think it's functional, but we'll really be testing it out in a future video to see if it's actually any good. You might notice as I pan on over here, that the 9.5 is missing. So I actually did sell the 9.5 uh, about, by the time you're seeing this video, two weeks ago. Uh, a gentleman in Connecticut bought it. So he's actually, I think he has a house in Georgia and Connecticut because I shipped the title to an address in Georgia, but the car is going to Connecticut. So the shipping company came, they picked it up uh, about a week ago and it's been gone. I meant to mention it in my last video and completely forgot about it but yeah it's actually going directly to a shop and I, I like how I'm just pointing at the oil spot that it had left over the last couple of months it had been sitting here so it's actually getting taken straight to a shop in Connecticut and they're going to be working out every little issue that's still wrong with it. I mean the guy even went as far as ordering a brand new dashboard because the old dashboard was a little bit wrinkled so I trust that the car is going to be in fantastic hands he said he'll keep me updated on what's going on with it so I'm excited to hear what he has planned for it. So it should be uh, going into great hands. I'm really glad it went to someone in the Saab community who actually is going to appreciate it and care for it. But uh, yeah, so the 9.5 is officially gone. But with that being said, I think it's time we should go ahead and install this. Now, when I got this from the junkyard, it actually mounts to four little like plastic uh, mounting brackets, I guess you could call them, in the hood. And then there's four spots on the bottom of this where it actually mounts. When I removed it from the car initially, I took the four little screws and I taped them onto here. And just now when I went to remove it, the screws were magically gone. So we have a bunch of spare little pieces of hardware. So thankfully I was able to find four little screws and we've got a collection of washers here because these screws are very small and skinny and these holes are kind of big so we're gonna have to kind of it'll be on there and it'll be on there fine it's just uh, not going to be using the uh the factory little screws that came with it but shouldn't take more than a couple minutes but let's go ahead and get it on so i can get your guys's thoughts and opinions on it i'm gonna try not to scratch my paint when i do this because that would be extremely unfortunate it just kind of rests over the front there so you'll see when i put the hood down but it pretty much just provides a bit of protection from the hood for bugs, rocks, whatever it might be, and it might protect the windshield a bit too. But I guess we'll find out. That's the whole reason why I'm testing it. The nice thing about this is it's a little bit adjustable, so there's my two washers. I have two washers on every single one to make it work, make sure it's on there secure. But you can definitely slide it back and forth a bit. So it's a little bit hard to get it lined up perfectly, but I think I did a, uh, a pretty solid job. Now this is very dirty, so I'm gonna get a towel, wipe this down real quick. But you can already see some bugs that it would have prevented from killing. There's a nice huge spot that goes the whole way up my hood pretty much from one bug. There's a nice big one stuck down under there as well. That could have been prevented if I had this on, but when you come down here and you look at the angle of it, it doesn't stick up a whole lot. So I would think in theory, it might protect the windshield as well. But again, that's why we're gonna test it. So let me get this cleaned off so I can get a good view of it. Because it's in the sun here, you can get a good view of it. And honestly, it's a very ugly color. It does not go with the, uh, the dark blue at all, but it's like a, uh, it almost just looks like a tinted little piece of plastic because you can still see through it. 
but the brown does not look very good with the uh, midnight blue <laughs> in my opinion now some of you might ask me where can you buy something like this I don't know, East Saab Parts might have something like it. Um, I was initially going to sell this and I had some buyers lined up until I found out the, sh the shipping cost. Because it's such an awkward long piece, it's uh, not going to be cheap to ship if I were to sell it. To the point where shipping it alone would have cost three times what I was asking for it and I wasn't asking very much for it. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you happen to have one of these on your Saab or what you think of it overall. I guess we'll find out in the next video if it's worth it. I'm excited to take this thing on another road trip. I actually did this exact drive with it a couple months ago and it was absolutely awesome. Handled the drive perfectly. There's a lot of great views so we'll be sure to get some good footage for you. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.